Hello again, I'm Trish Triumph O'Sullivan with Art History, Art 1A, lecture number three. The purpose of art or art, what is it good for? All right, so let's talk about the purposes and functions of art briefly. Um, there's several different things that we would t say that art, uh, that are functions of art. Um, the first is communicating information. Right. That's pretty straightforward. Um, it, a lot of times artists have used or people in general have used art in order to inform the general public about whatever they want to inform them about, right? Um, it's been used in religions back in, in ancient times when most people could not read or write. The way that the religion would communicate with the followers was by using art, right? They say every picture tells a story. Well, they would communicate what, what story they wanted the public to know through art, through pictures, right? Um, I'll give you a for instance. So uh, Diego Rivera, a very famous Mexican muralist, he was, um, uh, you know, an artist since he was a little boy, basically. He was doing, he was creating art. Um, he went away to study in Paris, which was something that a lot of artists did back in the day. Um, and after the Mexican Revolution, he came back to, to Mexico uh, to you know to his homeland because he wanted to come back and, and work and be an artist in his own home um, So he did he, he went back to Mexico, but his style of art was abstract, right? It was it was uh, it, it, it was Picasso's style Right, that's what he was doing. He was doing this really weird abstracted art that um, You know people, the general public really probably wouldn't understand. So um, the government was looking for artists, for muralists to tell the story of Mexico from the indigenous people's viewpoint, not from the Spaniards who had invaded and taken over. Um, so a lot of, a lot of muralists were applying to, for the government to be able to, to help tell this story to the general public who many of whom were indigenous people who really couldn't read or write in Spanish or even in their native language either, right? So um, uh, the Diego comes back, he wants to, he wants to be part of this, this, this movement of muralists telling the story of Mexico, um, the real story, the true story from the, from the indigenous people's point of view. And, you know, the government didn't want him because they said, hey, you know, your, your style, this cubism is really weird. I don't think the people are going to like it. So he decided to change his style. And in order to tell this story, he looked at indigenous people's art of Mexico. And he used the Mayan and the Aztec um, uh, writing, like the glyphs. Um, and their artwork to inform and, and change his style of art. And that's what you see today. That's Diego's style today. Um, you, you can see that in his style. So that shows you, that's an example of how um, art is used for communicating information. Um, the other, another thing that art's used for, okay, is day-to-day -day living. Just regular decorative pieces. When you think about, say, your dinner plates, um, your silverware, your glasses, um, things that you use every day, the rug you walk on. All those things were designed by an artist, right? Someone had to make those. Um, your car, uh, industrial design, all that is is our day-to-day -day life today. So those objects, those things were designed by someone, right? It was designed by an artist. So day-to-day -day living, um, an example would be like your dinnerware, right? The plates and the, 
the silverware and stuff like that that you use. Right? Another thing is that art is used for is worship and ritual. Whoops. Right? Worship and ritual, that's pretty straight, straightforward. It's used for celebrating your faith or, you know, if you have a faith. So art is used in, in worshiping, um, you know, celebrations of faith, uh, and in rituals. So you'll see like in, in a rigid, religious ritual, oftentimes the, the, uh, the leader of that, of that ritual has some kind of art of, of peace that has been artistically designed, right, to do that. Um, art. This is an important one, personal uh, expression. Right. So art can be used for personal expression. Um, and that's really important because basically that's one of the main things that art is used for is that the artist is expressing themselves. And that's a way for us to, to get our emotions out, to tell people how we feel, to share our perspective as an, as, as artists, as people. Um, it's, uh, uh, some people have to create art. It's a form of therapy for them. It's, it's very important that they, that they have that outlet. Um, or they can become, you know, unbalanced, right? They'll, they'll have an imbalance in their body. Um, art also can be used for social causes. This is a big one. Um, art can be used to, to inspire people, for, to, to, make, to create social change. Um, artists have used posters for what we call, you know, propaganda um, and flyers to, to influence people about a particular thing that's happening in the world. I'll give you a quick example. This is another one from Mexico. Um, a very famous photographer, Manuel Alvarez Bravo, uh, was out in one of the colonial towns, a little small cities surrounding Mexico City. And... Um, he was uh, was visiting and he thought he heard fireworks and was thinking, and thought oh great it's a celebration i'm going to go down to the plaza and um and see what's happening i'm sure they have music if they're setting off fireworks you know it's going to be a fun time um so he's probably going to go he probably probably wanted to go back and you know shoot back a couple of tequilas right uh, <laughs> just kidding but um so he gets to the plaza and turns out it's not it's not fireworks, it's gunfire. And what had happened was government um, soldiers were killing, shooting and killing striking workers. So, so workers who were striking because of wages and conditions were, were literally being shot to death by soldiers. Um, so he took photographs of, of a dead worker, a striking worker, um, and other photographs of what was happening and published them. And because of that, he was able to help create social change in Mexico. Without those photographs, nobody would have known outside of that little plaza what was happening, right? Because the photographs were published and, and disseminated around, people then knew, right? So that was, uh, he was able to create social change. It was a social cause, right? Um, and finally, art can be used for visual delight and decoration. And that, I guess, is my timer. So I'm gonna end with a quote from the book. Like beauty, truth, and life. Um, well, I should say, like beauty, truth, and life itself, right? Art is larger than any single definition. And I think that's a really good way to end this lecture. Um, these are the purposes and uses of art. 
See you next lecture.